Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. Oh, boy, that's a lot of rage. A lot of rage, a lot of anger. A Port Charlotte mother's in jail tonight after deputies say she tried to run over a school security guard. Thanks for counting on NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. And I'm Kyla Gaylor. This happened at Port Charlotte High School last Thursday, but the woman behind the wheel was just arrested today. NBC2's Gage Golding is live and local for us outside the school, explaining what exactly made this woman so mad. Gage? Yes, her name's Tara Jane Samuels Catalan, and she just dropped her child off here at Port Charlotte High School. That's when she tried to turn around and go the wrong way down the one-way entrance. Her excuse, well, it was to avoid speed bumps. She says does damage to her car. You've got to see it through the other side of the locked fence here. Well, a security guard walked up to her and said, hey, you can't do that. And it's that man she's accused of trying to run over just a few moments later. Organized chaos. It's the best way to describe any school drop-off line. In Port Charlotte High School, is no different. We drop off and we pick up every day. Everybody that comes seems to abide by the rules. But on Thursday, Charlotte County deputies say 42-year-old Tara Jane Samuels Catalan didn't want to play by the rules. Trying to go back out the one-way entrance, a security guard stopped her. Meanwhile, she's holding up a bus trying to drop off kids. Upset, she follows the security guard's direction before turning back around revving up her engine, putting her pedal to the metal with the security guard right in her headlights. That's awful that we actually have people out here doing that. The security guard luckily jumping out of the way and into some bushes right in the nick of time. I wouldn't want to be put in danger when I do my job, and I think that any you know, public official that is out here to serve the kids you know, should be safe when they do theirs as well. To be out here and act that way, um, there's no place for that. There absolutely is no place for that. All right, deputies interviewed her today where she said she did not try to run over that security guard. However, witnesses and security cameras, they tell a different story. Deputies arrested her today. She's locked up, being held on no bond in the Charlotte County Jail, facing charges of aggravated battery against a public school official. I'm reporting live and local for you outside Port Charlotte High. Gage Golding, NBC2.